think the issue of impunity is a tough one, because we keep focusing on impunity for the FARC. And this has to be pointed out, that the peace deal was also talking about dealing with the soldiers and the, and the, and the, and the military members of the public forces, the armed forces of Colombia that were involved in massive atrocities during this 50-year civil war. Um, and, and nobody talks about them as getting off uh, scot-free as well. Uh, which is one of the issues. And the other issue is exactly what you're pointing out, that when Uribe uh, negotiated uh, a deal with the paramilitary groups, the right-wing groups that were working hand-in-hand -hand with the armed forces in Colombia, carrying out a dirty war in the countryside for, for decades, massacring people, forcing displaced, forcibly displacing millions of people, um, when that process went, was unfolding, there was no opposition. To, there was a lot of opposition, but you didn't hear Uribe and the, and the, and the right wing talking about impunity at that point. These people, Salvador Mancuso, the head of the AUC, walked into Congress and he got a standing ovation, right? And here they are concerned about uh, giving 10 seats to the FARC as part of this peace deal in the Congress. That would only last, by the way, for eight years. It would be a political process to allow them to insert themselves into the political life. So it's a, it's it's. It, disingenuous at best, and it's just a, a, a typical of the intransigence of the Colombian right. The right in Colombia doesn't cede anything without a, a brutal fight uh, against those who are struggling for, for, for social justice. And unfortunately, that, that is now going to be pushed back uh, even further because of this referendum.